So no college football in Buffalo, but we will see Major League Baseball here and this week. The Toronto Blue Jays play their first game at Salem Field on Tuesday when they host the Miami Marlins. All right, so today what we are doing, take three, we are heading to Salem Field, which is the home of the Bisons. And again, as you can see by my jersey, dress for the occasion. Dress for the occasion. And what they've got going on is for the 2020 MLB season, the Toronto Blue Jays have crossed the border and are going to be playing, I'm guessing, all of their home games here. Just from the looks of pictures online, they've already did like a lot of remodeling, a lot of branding. They've done like a lot of stuff already, so like everything's ready for TV. I haven't seen too much stuff up close, so I'm like excited to see like how much they've changed, how much evidence of the Bisons is still here. But I don't know if the Bisons are playing, so I would have to look into that. But we're in for a treat. And it sounds like there's a game going on right now. Nobody's allowed in the uh, state field or ballpark. No one's allowed in the ballpark. I want to link a photo. Apparently, they're putting cardboard cutouts of all the fans in the um, stadium. And one that stuck or stood out to me was um, there's one guy who always goes to like literally every single game every year for I don't even know how long. He talks so much trash and it's hilarious because like whenever I went to the games, I was like within like 200 feet of him and they made a cardboard cutout of him so that he's still at the games, which is really cool. I'm excited to see what they have like outside. How about you? Yes. What's weird though is that when we we're on the way, we're in the parking lot right now, so we have to go pay for perfume. But on the way here, there's people, we had to do like a U-turn. There's people in like Blue Jays, like t-shirts did you see that on the corner yeah well buffalo is a huge toronto blue jays like town just to kind of explain the bisons are i'm getting a lot of notifications on my phone um the bisons are the foster team for the blue jays so like even before this the ballpark sold blue jays merch this was like long before COVID even happened i mean in all their like branding it's red white and blue their jerseys um replicate whoever like their parent team i would say it's still kind of like getting used to the fact that the toronto blue jays are currently playing there at this very second against i don't know who I don't know. oh wait okay so hold on on the way over here i did hear a person saying um it's only gonna get bigger when the yankees um come here Oh, I wonder if he just meant for a game. Cause all right, so I thought he was saying like the Yankees were gonna be like calling this their home, and I'm like that would not make sense because they're from New York too. They play in New York. Mariners. Marlins. Sorry. Tomorrow. That's a tomorrow game. So I'm practicing in there. All right, so maybe they're just running sound check because we did hear a lot of stuff going around the stadium, and there's a lot of police here. So I'd put good money on the fact that the, the Blue Jays are here right now. Just because like, why else would there be security? And I also noticed on the roof of the ballpark, which is like right around here, um, there were guys, I've never seen it before. There were guys walking around the top and I don't know if they had snipers or what, but it's probably just a practice. So there's actually a tweet seven minutes ago um, Toronto Blue Jays tweeted out the first MLB game in Buffalo in 105 years because it was Buffalo Blues. Yeah, okay. So yeah, Buffalo Blues used to play here apparently 105 years ago, and now Toronto's bringing it back. So we're gonna get out and pay for parking, and that then was in we'll... the 1920s. Isn't that crazy? That was before the 1920s. That was in 1915. It used to be Coca-Cola Field, and it should still be, but whatever. Buffalo is good at just taking nostalgic, like nostalgic names to their like stadiums and whatnot, and making it worse. I'm sorry, but if you eat Oscar Mayer hot dogs, you're gross. Okay, well, <laughs> we're gonna get out. <laughs> so, anything else you have to say? I got monster, baby! All right, so get in here, get in here. We're currently at the field. Um, this is Sailing Field. Uh, you can kind of see with this like pull, I'm gonna try and talk loud so you guys can't hear the copyrighted music that's playing in the field right now. But we got Blue Jays have arrived officially and what we're going to be doing is uh, kind of showing off everything that is new. Honestly, a lot of the stuff is like gated off so we're probably not gonna be able to show too much, but. I mean, we have a camera, we have a mic on the camera. We'll just be like, we're the media and we're gonna go in. No, we're not doing Exclusive that. Exclusive footage coming now. Alright, so we made some distance from the park. There was actually a lot less that you could see than I thought. Um, they had the main entrances of the park still up and they pretty much only rebranded. This is a minor league team, so like security and like lighting isn't MLB quality. So, oh, I gotta turn this all the way down so you guys can see better. There we go. 
Uh, so we noticed there was a lot of stand-in lights. And then the other biggest thing that I noticed is pretty much everything was fenced off. Everything was fenced off in terms of covered so you can't even see in. So I'm not sure shot. I'm not sure what the point of that was, but they're keep quality. But we are heading down deeper downtown to like the harbor and I don't know if you guys can here, let's go in here. Okay. We went down a little deeper so that we can be a little more guarded from the like not police from the cars and wind even though it's just as windy i'm starting to realize but we're going downtown because we are going to see where the sabers play i haven't been down there in a little bit i'm just nervous about the wind i feel like there's a lot of wind right now so if you guys can hear me awesome if you guys can hear me sorry and i might or just delete this the harbor center has been like being remodeled for like the past like five years so there has been a lot of progress made but i'm excited to see what the sabers i'm just gonna call it the saber center i'm tired of calling it all different names i still call it the hsbc arena that was from like a decade ago so yeah there's no point but we made it you guys can't really see in the background but that's the harbor center where like a lot of uh concerts happen all right we made it to the key bank arena key bank center whatever you want to call it no one cares we there's not too much difference that i thought there would be the first thing i'm noticing is they did end up changing the alumni center which i'm trying to focus right now so they did change all of this with updated photos and whatnot, but um, oh, they do have Ryan Miller up there. Okay, I was gonna say I Ryan like, Miller. Yes. When it comes to the outside, nothing has really changed. I will say, but actually, I just noticed they did add Buffalo Bandits um, logo to the front, which is our lacrosse team. Yeah, the keeping center didn't really change. Just pretty much just what happened around it. We can't obviously we can't get inside, but that's kind of how it looks. So, what do you think? Uh, I like that they updated that. I think it looks a lot better. Yeah, it's a lot, there's more clarity, I'll say. Yeah. The only other thing we could show you is over here is where the Harbor Center is, and they did rebuild that up a lot, but there's a lot of construction going on where um, there used to be concerts, and because of COVID and they're not being able to do concerts, they thought this would be the perfect time to just demolish like everything, so there's not really much to show. All right, after a long walk, we made it back to the field, so one last look. We got sailing field in the background with the uh, Blue Jays. So let me focus real quick. Bingo. What's his name on? Hope you guys enjoyed. We, we might do something later today to kind of save this video, but I apple feel like cider I feel like what people would be interested in this. She keeps trying to do apple cider slushies. I don't. What? Don't be talking bad about me. Okay. Hello, guys. We are currently on the hunt to find the left side of my face is itching. We're on the hunt to find the most active meteor shower of all of our lifetimes i'm pretty sure it is and it won't be back until like the next like a thousand years so what we are trying to do is we're trying to it looks like a rave going on outside that building all right so I, i'm pretty sure the way you find is you find the moon and then it should be going on around it it might be hard to do it because it's expected to have a half moon so it might be hard to find but we're not even we don't even see a moon so i don't know what's going on i see a bunch of stars and the stars are like very I mean, for what the stars are, they're very bright tonight. But yeah, I have not seen the moon yet. We've been looking all around, driving all around, trying to get a better vantage point, trying to get in the open. We're also trying to find oh food. God. There's a little, little, a, a little doe. I thought it was a dog. Oh my God. You thought it was a dog? Yeah, I thought it was a giant dog. <laughs> with two feet long legs. <laughs> Whenever there's something that's like a once in a lifetime or like once in a long time i'll say once a once in a long time chance to see something i've never seen it i think the only one i've actually seen was when the moon turned like bright red oh wait was this one you could can you see mars tonight or did we already miss that elon musk was tweeting about it elon elon whoa my ear just popped in my right ear this is stupid i want to see a meteor shower you know what? it is weird because you can see the stars all over but there's just no moon do you think the moon's gone do you think the moon was destroyed by the meteors? No, if that happened, everything would like be going on because the moon controls. Everything like, would be going on. No, because like the moon controls like the tides and stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, tsunami. everything would be going Su on. Yeah, like tsunamis. Tsunami. Do you want Wendy's or do you want McDonald's? Oh God, slam on the brakes, please. Well, I'm just asking a question. Wendy. I don't, I don't think you meant to say that. I didn't mean to say that. I don't think you meant to say <laughs> I that. I didn't mean to say that. What the heck? What the heck? 
Whoa. Whoa. Bye. Hey guys, checking back in. Um, I was getting out of the car and, and Abby wouldn't help me carry <laughs> anything. Abby wouldn't help me carry anything and I just dropped everything. <laughs> and now there's my drink and I got my slippers wet. <laughs>